the snowiest Christmas ever. It was almost Christmas. The bear's cabin twinkled with decorations. All around the tree, presents waited to be unwrapped, and the fire crackled cozily. Everything was perfect except for one thing. Please let there be snow this Christmas, squeaked Button, pointing at her book. Oh yes, Mungo cried, all fluffy and soft for Santa's sleigh to land in. Papa laughed, don't worry, cubs, I'm sure snow is on the way. But there was no snow at bath time. Then at bedtime, something tinkled against the window. Button took a peek. It's snowing, gasped Button. Yay, cheered Mungo. Papa gave his excited bears a squeeze. I wish it would snow forever, Button yawned sleepily. All through the night, the snow got deeper and deeper and deeper. The next morning, something big fell through the mail slot. Plop! It was a mound of snow. Ooh, Button whispered. Oh my, exclaimed Papa. I've never seen snow do that before. Snowball fight, cheered Mungo, hurling a paw full of Button. Squealing, Button aimed one back. But her snowball hit Papa instead. Why don't you play outside, chuckled Papa. I'll make breakfast. But when the cubs opened the door, an avalanche of white tumbled in. Flump! Woohoo! I have a great idea, grinned Mungo, and he began to roll a ball of snow around the floor. The snowball grew and grew. We need a carrot, Papa, called Mungo. For breakfast, replied Papa. <laughs> no, it's for my snowman, laughed Button. Oh my, an indoor snowman? Let's clean this up before he melts into an enormous puddle, exclaimed Papa. The snowflakes drifted down all day long. More snow, more snow, sang the bear clubs. Just then, there was a rumble from the chimney. Is that Santa already, asked Button. Floof! A humongous pillow of snow plunged down the chimney and the fire went out. Oh no, gulped Papa. Now this really is too much snow. If the chimney is blocked, how will Santa deliver our presents, Mungo cried. It's all my fault, sobbed Button. I wish it would snow forever. And now this has happened? Don't worry comforted Papa, gathering up Button in his big bear paws. We'll help Santa get through. We could use the broom, Mungo suggested. Papa squeezed into the sooty chimney and pulled the broom up as far as he could. But even on tiptoe, he couldn't reach the top. So the bear cubs climbed into Papa's shoulder and with a wiggle and a heave, the broom popped out. I can see stars, squeaked Button. Phew, chuckled Papa. I think we've saved Christmas. After a nice bath, the three bears cuddled by the fire. Are you sure Santa will come, mumbled Button. Of course, grinned Papa. The snow had stopped falling at last, and the forest looked as glittery as the buttons in Button's book. And while the bears slept soundly, Santa climbed down the chimney to leave them a perfect present. A sled, cheered the bear cubs the next morning, just right for the snowiest Christmas ever. Whee!